creating SQL Server agent alerts. You need to create SQL Server agent alerts for certain critical errors. These include severity 19 through severity 25 errors, and then error 825, which is a read retry was required. You can read this Paul Randall blog post at this URL to get more details about this issue and why it's so important. You want to know about these errors as soon as possible. You want to make sure to configure a response for each one of these alerts. A SQL Server agent alert can trigger an email, a net send, or a page. An email to a distribution group is a preferred method to notify somebody about this. Net send and paging are again deprecated in SQL Server 2012. This is what the SQL Server Alert General Properties dialog looks like. And you can see where you can give it a name and decide whether to enable it or not and choose what sort of an alert it is. And you can filter it by database. Usually you're going to want to set it for all databases. You can also choose whether to use a specific error number or a severity level or search for a certain message in the error text in the SQL Server error log. And then this is what the SQL Agent Alert Response Options look like. And again, you have to go in and make sure that you have a SQL Operator configured first. And now is when you set it up so this operator is notified if this alert is ever triggered. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add SQL Agent Alerts to a brand new SQL Server instance. What you need to do before you do this is make sure you've added a SQL operator. So you see I have one here called SQL DBA group. And this operator is not tied to one specific person. It's a whole distribution group. It can be multiple DBAs and other people who need to be notified if something occurs. So you can see that I've got SQL DBA group in my T-SQL script here. And what this is going to do is call a system store procedure called SP add category and then it's going to add uh, several alerts here, SP add alerts. And here's the alerts that we're going to add. We want to add alerts for SEV19 through SEV25 errors and also for error 825. And this script has a little bit of intelligence because it automatically figures out the name of your instance and adds that right here as a server name to the name of this alert. So again, just double check that you've got this operated created first and then you can run this script and it goes through and right here in the alerts tab if I refresh there then I should see all these brand new alerts and you can see that it concatenated together the name of this instance Glenn 2012 and then alert and then it talks about what it is so just by running this T-SQL script now we've got SQL agent alerts and if any of these alerts actually happen then we'll find out about it much more quickly than we otherwise would.